So what happens when I use Autotune and other and Terry's plugins on my vocals? I see the light now. But it took some time off from you. I see the light now. But it took some time off from you. How about some effects? But it took some time off from you. Nothing satisfies it Where the clouds rise higher Where the smoke there is fire, fire Now we're getting somewhere. Today I'll show you how to use Autotune for gentle vocal correction the way I usually use it and then how to use it to create some pretty cool effects using Autotune EFX and Antares Harmony plugin. By the way, you don't need to sing well or even sing for that matter to use some of these tricks. I'll show you why by using some vocal samples later in the video. And today is the start of a giveaway. I'm giving away three prizes totaling $1,500 in plugin licenses. And if you're watching this after the giveaway is ended, I've still got some cool tricks you learn in this video that will help you use Autotune the right way. For now, I want to show you how to use Autotune to fix imperfections in your vocals using Autotune Artist and Autotune Access, which I think are both good choices. They're both included with the Autotune Unlimited subscription program as well, along with a bunch of other really nice effects, including Autotune EFX and Harmony, which I'll also demo but you can buy all of these effects outright as well. I'll put links to everything in the video description. For most people, you can get a lot out of the $99 Autotune Access, and you can sometimes find it on sale. Watch my Saturday News Report videos and I'll let you know when you can get a deal on it. If you want a few more options and more control, Autotune Artist is the way to go. Let's start with Access because it's the simplest. The most important thing to do first is set your key. So yeah, you'll need to know the key of your song. Mine is an F sharp major, so I set it to that. You can also use Auto Key, a plugin, to find the key of the song if you don't know it. This is great if you've used a sample and you don't know what key the song is in. It's included with Autotune Unlimited as well. So Autotune Access makes sure it corrects your vocals to the scale you choose, so no wrong notes when you sing. Next, set your retune speed. You can use medium speed for most things. I see the light now, but it took some time off from you. And if you want that Autotune or T-Pain effect, change it to fast. I I see the light now, but it took some time off from you. These two settings will pretty much give you what you need for most of your music. There you go, with and without. But it took some time off from you. But it took some time off from you. The humanized knob adds some more natural sound to the notes that you hold longer. All right, I want to show you Autotune Artist next. The Artist version costs more because you get some options that I think make a big difference once you start getting more serious with your vocal recordings. First, I'll set the key again. And you'll see you've now got the option of selecting the input type on the left. I chose low male in this instance, but you can choose from soprano or alto tenor or even instruments. And this kind of depends on what you're recording and your voice. The artist version also gives you some transpose and format options. I'll show you a little bit about that later in the video. But let's move on to the knobs below. You'll notice that you have much more control of the retune speed now. And I find that 35 works pretty well for me and sounds pretty natural. I see the light now, but it took some time off from you. Set the retune speed to zero, of course, and you have the T-Pain effect. I see the light now. The Flex Tune knob gives you a more classic sound from previous versions of Autotune. I see the light now. And the vibrato knob helps you preserve the natural vibrato of your voice if you've got it. I've actually lowered the vibrato setting to remove some wavering pitchiness in my voice. Honestly, being able to set the retune speed and the input type are the biggest benefits of Autotune Artist version for me. 
I should also mention that the artist version also has an advanced view, which gives you a lot more control of the notes in your scale, allowing you to add or remove them. All right, now let's have some fun. Let's take a look at Autotune EFX. Autotune EFX retails for $199 if you purchase it, or of course you can also get it with the Autotune Unlimited subscription plan, which is $24.99 a month. I had so much fun playing around with this and ended up applying it to the second phrase in the verse of this song. But it took some time off from you. But it took some time off from you. Let's try some other presets. But it took some time off from you. 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 Autotune EFX also gives you some control of the effects it adds with the XY pad on the right. But it took some time off from you. But it took some time off from you. But it took some time off from you. Now, remember I told you that you didn't even have to sing to use Autotune? Well, I also added Autotune EFX to a sample. Check it out. <laughs> First, I used Autotune Artist to transpose it to the right key, and then added EFX. You also have an auto motion feature which lets you apply patterns to your vocals. Watch this. In another part of the song, I used the Harmony plugin by Antares to automatically harmonize the middle section of the song. Nothing satisfies it, where the clouds rise higher, where the smoke there is fire, fire. Nothing satisfies it, where the clouds rise higher, where the smoke there is fire. Yep, again, I choose a key and the plugin added all the harmonies to it. No need for me to sing them. I think they add a cool effect to this part of the song. All right, I wanna address something. Do you really need auto-tune? Honestly, if you're a slightly pitchy singer, you can convey your tune better without distracting pitchiness to your audience. I use it on almost every vocal I record. It does add a bit of unrealisticness to your sound if you push it too hard. And sometimes the character of a pure natural vocal really helps a song convey sadness, anger, or excitement. And it works. So listen to what you're conveying. I've actually removed autotune for certain sections of my song because I like the slight edginess that the original vocal conveyed. All right, let's get to the giveaway details. I'm giving away three awesome prizes First prize is Autotune Pro Vocal Studio, which includes Autotune Pro, the top tier plugin, and you get Auto Key and 11 AVOX vocal processing plugins. No subscription with this one, you own it. It retails for $700, so yeah, you want this. The second prize is a two year, yes, two year license to Autotune Unlimited, which gives you all the plugins for two years. And the third prize is a one-year license. To enter for a chance to win, leave a comment on this video letting me know which of the plugins that I demoed was your favorite. And then use the link in the description to enter the giveaway. You have until midnight, May 9 to enter. So do it now so you don't forget. Thanks to the Antares team for providing the prizes for this giveaway. By the way, you can go to the Antares site right now and download some free trials if you wanna try this stuff out now. Have fun. Keep making the music you love and enter the giveaway. I'll see you later. In my own skin, stood up over this, on the hunt for a little time. Nothing satisfies it, where the clouds rise higher, where the smoke there is fire.